Welcome back. Dave Aguilera is here with a first alert weather forecast, and we have a first alert weather day on tap. Coming up on Monday, it's going to be a kind of a soggy scenario for a lot of people to start next week around here. We need it. We're high and dry again this weekend. The only good thing about the start of the weekend is the flags are just flapping lightly. There's just a little breeze out there. Not the crazy wind like we had yesterday in town. We were 50 to 60 mile per hour gusts, and even at the Broomfield Airport yesterday, they had an 82 mile per hour wind gust out there. So here's what we're dealing with now. Only a, oh about 10 to 20 mile per hour gusts here on the south side of town from Greenwood Village and 10. Parker into Castle Pines. You go further north, lighter amounts on the winds going on. Leslie Burns up in Greeley. He's one of our first alert weather watchers up there. He says total for the month at his house has been 14 hundredths of an inch, so a little over a tenth of an inch. And then by contrast, officially for Denver out at DIA this month, we've had six hundredths of an inch. That puts us in third place for the top Five driest Aprils of all time. Man, man, it uh, has been just a really dry month out there. Things are about to change, though. Let me show you. We are mostly clear on the satellite here in Colorado. A few high clouds moving over Utah. The next big thing now is a cold front that's making its way into Boise, just outside of Boise here. They have severe thunderstorms popping there and a big drop of low pressure that will slide in on Monday. And this time around, we might get some really good upslope in the front range here that will give us some moisture. Now, tomorrow morning, we'll have more clouds building in over the eastern plains here up north and a little bit of light rain in some of the mountains here by afternoon. A few light showers start to develop about 4 o'clock here around the front range, and then it's tomorrow night into Monday morning. Look at this. Just before midnight, we might see some thunderstorms from Denver, Fort Collins, back up into Sterling with some snow moving on into the mountains. Rain showers, maybe a few thunderstorms for the morning commute here in the front range. You folks down south stay dry pretty dry with this whole system. It's the northern part of Colorado that really sees the bulk of this. And then by afternoon, we've got rain in Denver up to Fort Collins here. Maybe a rain snow mix out here across the northeastern plains as our temperatures cool down in the afternoon on Monday. We're talking 40s, maybe even some 30s by Monday afternoon in some spots out there. Tomorrow, late in the evening, we could see some severe thunderstorms, meaning strong winds, 60 mile per hour plus, and maybe some hail out of that as well. So if you've already put some potted plants or anything, Thing like that out tomorrow night. You may want to kind of slide them close to the house or in the garage if you can. But tonight we're going to be beautiful, mostly clear out there. 36 in Fort Collins, 39 in Broomfield, about 35 in Castle Rock, and tomorrow Littleton 71, 68 in Broomfield, and Windsor. You're looking about 68 degrees tomorrow and warm in the lower elevations, 60s and 70s, with 40s and 50s, and even a few low 60s in the mountains for tomorrow. So mostly clear, breezy tonight, upper 30s for the overnight low. Tomorrow we'll be in the 60s, about 68 downtown. Clouds increase, showers late in the day, and maybe some evening thunderstorms developing. And then we went red for Monday. That's the first alert weather day. Some good moisture coming our way. We really need this, and it's going to be cool too. Only 47 for the high on Monday. 60s and 50s, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But each one of those days, we might get some showers or thunderstorms. And then it's back to the dryness on Friday and Saturday. But it's been a long time since I've been able to put raindrops on four say. days in a row like that. Right. I mean, I don't think we've, mm -hmm. we barely had any rain in April, and it's usually April showers that bring May flowers. I know. So I don't know what May rain's going to bring. And maybe relief. <laughs> yeah, Monday will have her Monday and May will bring relief, I, I think. I hope so. At least for the short term. Right. Yeah. Let's keep that coming. Thank there you, Dave. You, you bet. Well, today